All right, so today we are going to go explore prehistoric art in the Lascaux Caves. The art that is inside the Lascaux Caves is the earliest surviving examples of artistic expression. These are from basically the first humans. Um, they date between 28,000 BC to 10,000 BC, and BC means before Christ or before the Common Era. All right, so just to let you know where in France these caves were discovered, the, this is the country of France, obviously. You can see Paris, there, there's a star. And then below it, Lascaux is highlighted in red for you. Here's a diagram of inside the caves, and you can notice there's the entrance. And then as you go farther into the caves where the paintings are actually at, um, the entrance or the opening gets more narrow, so it makes it more difficult to move through. And then here's an example, an actual picture of the entrance or the opening that you would be moving through inside of the caves. The discovery of the caves. These were not actually the people who discovered the caves, but they are probably probably documenting the inside of <clears throat> what the caves looks, looks like. The people who actually discovered the caves were four teenage French boys and their dog. They accidentally stumbled upon it. So you're probably wondering who painted these images. Well, <clears throat> first you might want to ask yourself is how do you think they painted these images? Um, they're painted by hunter-gatherers, people who moved around and followed their source of food like bison, and bison migrate so the people would have to migrate with them. And this was done in the Paleolithic times. During this time, cave painting was almost always of animals. There are very few human representations. They're almost always of animals. And we have numerous animals that are represented. We have bulls, bison, cows. There's another picture of a bison. There's also horses, and this one's called the Chinese horse. That is a modern name for this painting because um, it kind of looks like Chinese art. There's also deer and antelope. Okay, so thinking about how do you think that these paintings were made? Well, what they think, and they don't know for sure, is that these hunter-gatherers went deep inside of these caves with torches and had various paints made out of natural ingredients like charcoal or pigments from plants, and they would paint these by torchlight. Now here we have some actual humans represented along with some deer. Now you need to ask yourself, why would they paint these animals? And there are several theories. They believe that by drawing these animals that they would guarantee plentiful herds and good hunting. Some say hunters may have turned to magic to place a spell over their prey to make it weaker and easier to hunt. May have involved a ceremony where the animal was painted on the wall and the hunter believed that they were capturing some of that animal's spirit or strength. Another theory is that they had to replace the animals that would be hunted, maybe some sort of way of paying respect to these animals. Now this is one of my most favorite parts. They also found all of these handprints um, that were painted by the artist. Here's another one, here's a close up of one. Now ask yourself, why do you think they would have left their handprints? And things that I want you to think about are, do they have a written language at this time? Could they write their name on the wall next to their artwork? 